Hi everyone, Holly here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have a really quick and fun video to share with you today. This one I'm actually really proud of because I have been seeing those wood bamboo lid glass drinking contain drinkware I guess it would be with the straws and the pretty patterns on them all over Etsy, all over Amazon and I was like I really want one of those cups and I went to order one and the ones I saw on Etsy weren't bad. They were like $20, $25 each. Um, and then I went to Amazon and two blank ones were $62. And I was like, mm -mm, not doing it. So anyways, I was in the Dollarama the other day and I came across these storage containers with the bamboo lids and inspiration struck. And I'm like, you know what? I can make one of my own cups. So. I'm gonna share with you guys how I did it in this video. So this is a neat little hack, a little dupe if you wanna call it, and I hope that you guys like it. Just go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any upcoming content and the little bell if you wanna be notified each time I post a video. Let's jump right into the project. Okay, so this is the storage jar here, and you can find these at most Dollaramas. I've seen them at a couple now. It's $3, so a great price, and it has the bamboo lid, so exactly what I was looking for. I also did manage to find a straw kit, a gold straw kit. They had other different kinds too there, and I thought these straws were perfect as well for this project. The only annoying part is getting this giant sticker off of the glass. I will say that. But um, once I get it off, then I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I designed for the project. All right, so we are in Cricut Design Space here, and I'm just gonna go up to the three lines here in the top left corner. And we're gonna go right down here and select canvas. And then this will open up the canvas for us for a new project. So we're gonna go right down here on the left-hand side menu all the way to images. And we are going to search in Cricut Images for anything with coffee, because I'm making, I'm making my glass here and I want to say something about coffee. So um, if you guys aren't a part of Cricut Access, I really do highly suggest it. Um, I love Cricut Access, you can get access to all these images. There's like over 200,000 images in Cricut Design Space that you can work from so that you never have to leave Design Space when you're making a project. It's so easy and it's so convenient and honestly, it is more than worth the money. So there was one that I saw the other day about coffee and create. This one right here, I love it. I love the font, I love everything about it. And because I'm crafty, I really want a mug that says that. So we're gonna go ahead with this one here. So again, I cannot stress how awesome Cricut Access is. I'm subscribed so I can use this image and actually I could use any one of these images that I wanted. Honestly, the images are endless. In the description on this video, if you're interested in Cricut Access, there's a direct link to take you to purchase. I do make a small commission at no extra cost to you and it does help me to keep my channel running. So I have my image here. I'm just gonna size it down to the size that I want. So I just grab the arrow here in the bottom right hand corner. We're gonna size it down to the size we want. And then all we have to do is go ahead and make this project. That is how easy this is with Cricut Access. So we're gonna go ahead to make it. And then we're just gonna follow the prompts. I'm using the Cricut Maker 3. So I do have to select if I'm gonna be using smart materials or just regular materials. So on Cricut mat, I'm just gonna select a mat and I'm using my 12 by 12 mat and we're gonna hit continue. And then it separates the colors onto two separate mats for me here. And then we're just gonna go ahead, hit continue and we are going to cut out this project. All right, so I've already cut out the first part and now you can see here my Cricut machine is just cutting out the lovely mint color. So there's just two different colors to this project. It's a very simple, very easy design. And then you're using vinyl, so you just weed off the part that you don't need. I wanted to keep this cup very simple, not anything complex, just simple and straightforward and to the point. So I'm just gonna go ahead and weed this out. And then all we have to do is transfer it onto the glass portion of our cup. Now I, thought I had recorded the part of me cleaning the cup, but I guess I didn't have that. So I do want to mention that before you apply any vinyl to your glass cup, you do want to give it a good cleaning with some um, alcohol and that will just remove any dirt or debris or uh, fingerprints from your uh, cup and your glass. And that just allows the vinyl to stick and get a really good adhesion to the glass. 
So I have my glass here. I'm going to go ahead and get my transfer tape. I'm using the Cricut normal standard tra uh, transfer tape. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull off a large piece. Now I did cut this piece a little too large. I don't think it needed to be this big. But I'm going to do this layering and I'm going to transfer it in one shot here. So I'm just putting down the first part which is coffee. And I'm using my scraper to smooth that onto the transfer tape. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to peel off the backing. And then you will see that we have the coffee on there. Then I'm going to go ahead with the same transfer tape and I'm just going to lay it right over top of the create and line it up using my eyes. I'm just doing a quick eyeball lineup. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stick the create part to the transfer tape. Rather than pressing down coffee, getting a new sheet of transfer tape, I'm just going to do it all in one shot here. So um, if you find it easy to do it this way, or you can do it piece by piece, transferring it onto the glass. So again, I'm just smoothing it out here, removing the backing paper. And then you'll see here that I have my whole design in one shot, ready to go on my glass. And you can also see here what I'm saying when I said I cut the transfer sheet way too big. <laughs> but we're just going to lay that down on the glass. We're going to smooth it out. I'm going to come in with my Cricut scraper and just make sure it's um, scraped out really well and stuck to the glass. And then all I have to do is remove my transfer tape. So I pull it nice and close to the glass, removing the transfer tape. And then we are left with our design on our cup. So really simple, really easy, straightforward. Now to turn this into a cup, what we have to do is we have to drill a hole in the lid for our straw. So I figured out which straw I wanted. There was a big thick straw in there, but I didn't really like that big thick straw. I just wanted a normal size straw. So these two are actually the same size, so it doesn't matter. I can use both and interchange them. And all I'm gonna do here is take my Ryobi drill with a drill bit on that I've just measured up to the size of the straw. I'm going to place a block of wood underneath to protect my work surface and I'm just going to go straight down through the middle of the lid and just drill a hole right through the middle of the lid. It is really easy so if you're afraid of power tools don't worry it's a drill it's so simple. It is a little rough so I'm going to give it a quick sand with some sandpaper. There's just some little wood splinters and stuff and we want to make sure we don't drink those so we get rid of those. And then I'm just going to come in with some alcohol and I'm just going to give the lid a really good clean because I use my power tool. And then you see the uh, straw slides right through. And that is it you guys. That is so simple, so easy. And how cute is this cup? I think it's so great and honestly, um, great for the summer keeps will keep the bugs out of my drink and i'm so happy with this dupe and how it turned out thank you so much for tuning into this video leave any questions or comments below and i will try to answer them for you and thanks once again from the bottom of my heart for tuning in and subscribing to my channel